name is Susan Williams White. I'm an associate professor in the Virginia Tech Department of Psychology. I work at the Child Study Center where I direct the assessment clinic in the Psychosocial Interventions Lab. Most of my research and clinical work is with teenagers and young adults who have autism spectrum disorder. And autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder which is pretty common. Um, it affects more than one in a hundred kids and the prevalence is similar for adults. It tends to be a lifelong disorder and it's usually diagnosed early in childhood, though not always. There are many, many cases where people aren't diagnosed until much later in adulthood and that tends to be when they're much higher functioning cognitively or often are um, diagnosed first with some other disorder like depression or an anxiety disorder. Most of my work as a therapist and as a scientist, I look at comorbidity or when another problem or disorder happens alongside autism. And in my work I have found that anxiety is extremely common, extremely common. More than half of people, especially teenagers and young adults, who have an autism spectrum disorder have at least one co-occurring anxiety disorder. And, and I think it's really important for educators, parents, and clinicians to understand that and to appreciate there's so many reasons why people with autism might experience anxiety. One of the big reasons that we found in our work is the, the social challenge that is pervasive in everyday life for people who have autism. The social world is extremely complex, challenging, frustrating, and downright confusing for people who have autism. Rules kind of fly out the window because the rule that applies in one situation doesn't necessarily apply to a new situation, or what worked in fifth grade no longer works in middle school. So a lot of the work that I do is trying to help teenagers and these young adults identify and develop new rules and also when there's exceptions to those rules because in the social world there's always going to be oh it's this rule except when. Um, so that's a, a lot of what I do. I think the other thing that's striking to me is in, uh, in addition to how common anxiety and especially social anxiety is in people with ASD is that these individuals are not devoid of social motivation. Many, many people with autism want desperately to understand and to at some level fit in with their peer group and be a part of a larger society. And I think that is where we as a society need to change our outlook and accept neurodiversity and all of the, the strength, the assets that come with it. There's a place, I think there's a place for every person to contribute in our society. And our challenge is really to find each person's place and help them fulfill that. And that's also true when we think of students with autism transitioning into college. The challenges don't go away. So how can we work with them to, to make them contributing members and to fulfill, fulfill their own strengths?